All, All right. right, I get to see Silver's Fox. It's the Is versus Silver. Let's get it. So Toon Link versus Fox. Um, actually, uh, Th Thies does come over to my house, and he, he practices with me and Void. So Yeah, I heard he's been making the drive out to Y and I. Yep, it's the good, good old, for him. The good old well, now um, I live in Kapolei, so... Oh, even better. Yeah. I would just just moved in the Void's garage uh, <laughs> two days ago. <laughs> Is it just you? Uh, me and Raymond. So you guys are technically family now. Yeah. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> oh, brother Raymond. <laughs> shout, but, out, um, shout out to Raymond. Shout out to Raymond. He definitely wanted to come out today. He was pretty, he was pretty bummed. His, his job called, and uh, I guess someone else couldn't make it in, so he took the bullet. I told him just not to answer the phone, but... <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, so okay. he's using the uh, the wolf side B. Yep. Now, and what what are the benefits of the wolf side B versus regular? Um, you have a, it, It's not so obvious when you side B to ledge, because you can either instantly side B to the ledge from that diagonal angle, or you can just up B. So it's really good for recovering, in my opinion, but your neutral game does take a hit. And I believe you can... At early percentages, you can down throw to side B, and it'll spike them, and then you can keep the combo going if they don't tech. So definitely um, a good way to get, like, it's a, it's definitely different. And you get you get benefits at certain percentages that will auto into it. And if you do get the spike, it'll fall you down, and you can go right into an up smash, I believe, if you don't. Mm -hmm. Oh, and he goes for the Twisting Fox, almost getting it. If that, if that bomb wasn't in the way, that would have been a kill. That, that move is so weird it's hard to interact with yeah and it's um in my it, it's so good because not a lot of things can like beat it out so it's like you're recovering with firefox but it's like you want to challenge it you have a there's a risk of getting stage spike uh, someone's playing and an afro king so right now toon link does have the lead um i in my opinion this this matchup definitely favors fox and just like that, we see uh, he spaced out with the um, the tether gra or the the Zare, but Fox just had that speed to like go up and just up smash him. He just he's that fast, so he can reflect all of his projectiles and he can also like close the gap and get in. So in both dimensions of the neutral game, Fox wins. Yeah, Link, Toon Link has never really been good with dealing people with people that get in his face, mm -hmm. and I think that's still kind of the case in this game. Oh, oh wow! That grab. Not connecting. And also, oh, I think that might be dead. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, he didn't kill him yet. He I didn't go for, he didn't offer the back throw. Maybe he knows that that back throw won't kill for maybe another couple more percentage. I don't know. I'm not too familiar, but Toon Link definitely, his back throw is very strong. It should kill now. Yeah. Even without rage. Oh, okay. Ooh, almost didn't make that. Oh, trying to get, trying to get that um, back throw kill. Silver forfeiting his stage position for a potential follow-up did not pay off, that's and that's going to do it. Yeah. So another thing Fox is really good in this matchup for is he can infinitely jab Toon Link. Or not, you can get like maybe two rounds in an up tilt because he is like um, um, floaty characters, like really floaty characters can like kind of DI out of it going up. So you're, you can definitely like just jab, jab, and rip an up smash just for damage. That's, mm -hmm. what I, um, that's what I usually do against like Kirby, Toon Link, Rosa. Yeah. So Silver not feeling it with Fox. I know, I know he started picking up Fox, but um, that character is not an easy character to play. So I guess he's just not feeling it right now. And even um, I was talking to Larry. He said sometimes if he's not feeling with Fox, he just won't go him. No, he won't go Fox unless he's like for sure that he's on point. Yeah. So Silver switching back to one of his original mains, Peach. I know he used to be a Peach and Yoshi main. I'm not too sure how to feel about this matchup. I think that he's gonna get. He's going to get camped out. Yep, Peach is kind of slow and clunky, so she is definitely going to have a hard time getting in. She does have turnips, but definitely not as fast as uh, Toon Link's projectiles. On the other hand, though, it is going to be on the is to make sure that he spaces properly. Yeah. Uh, Peach much more punishing if she gets her hits. Yep. Compared Peach to hits like a truck. Like, A geez. royal truck. <laughs> Like I watch on um, Fire and Dice, and I like they. I know they have a couple Peach players, um, mm -hmm. Millicent Crow and Slayers, dude. Oh man, those forward airs are nasty. They are just straight nasty. Oh, Maleficent Crow, that's the guy that Void played against on Lion. Yeah, I remember. He's that. a really good Peach player. Yeah, he's from uh, like from that area. 
SoCal. Mm -hmm. So Maleficent Crow, Slayers, two very good Peach players from SoCal. But yeah, their forward airs are so on point, and it's like, like you said, when you do mess up against a Peach and give her that hit, she hits you very, very hard. Yeah. So, I mean, kind of just, just as you predicted, it looks like... Um, oh, oh, that was I, close. He's kind of Good closing, bomb. He's kind of just camping him out, and just right there, he kind I guess he felt like he was, had such an upper hand, he wanted to keep the pressure going up close. I don't feel like that was worth it. But Silver definitely having a hard time getting in here against this Toon Link. He's got center stage, but he's not making use of it. There you go. Get mm -hmm. him off. Yep. There it yeah. is. He, he needs to be floating there. over the projectiles. That almost killed him. Yeah. <laughs> that crown, man. Uh oh, and that back throw, good DI right there by Silver. Daniel. That fat princess is living today, boys. Oh, and is he going for another back throw? All right, good down smash by Silver. Oh, yeah. Can he, can he transfer the stage control into a stock? We'll see. Oh. Almost half of this round is gone. Yeah. And it's just I'm just watching uh, some lady trying to maneuver through bombs and boomerangs and arrows. Interesting that he's not going with the fire arrows. Uh, from what I understand, the fire arrows are probably his best go-to custom move. Mm -hmm. For I, for the arrows anyway. I like um I like the big bomb against like uh, characters that pressure him too much. Mm -hmm. Like Toon Link with the big bomb, it's really good against uh, like Fox or Sheik. Just character. Oh, that's going to be a back throw. That should be a stock. But yeah, 161%. That's going to close it out for Thies. And let's see how much extra credit he can get. Man, the Iz has been like moving more and more <laughs> as the match goes on. <laughs> He's like getting lower and lower and lower. Hey, man, that's how I, that's how I do, man. I get low. The concentration crouch. <laughs> you just got to get low, man. Okay. Oh, good catch. Nice catch. That made his recovery a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Okay, smart bomb. Get away from the, the slap, the crown. Thies is just doing such a good job of keeping that pressure on the ledge. So, like, he got up and he had to worry about the grab, the boomerang coming back to Thies. Just a lot of really good pressure by this Toon Link. Yeah. But he is at 162. I'm assuming a forward throw at this point might finish. That back throw should kill. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that will finish off the stock. Peach's back throw is a uh, pretty pretty strong. That booty bump. Yep. This is still not over yet. Oh, oh, far Sil from Silver over. could still get the damage back, but he needs to get land the hits. Yep. Uh, uh, what do you think is Silver's best bet on getting in? Um. Like you said, floating over the obvious projectiles. If he, if he can start oh. reading when the is is gonna throw, he can get over them. Mm -hmm. But I don't think he should be rolling in too much. I don't think that's gonna help him. Ooh, and that raw up smash is gonna hit Silver up. Really, not not so great of a position. Thies with the uh, center stage control. Definitely harder to work your way from the outside to the in on battlefield. Oh, beautiful up smash. That boomerang was huge. It made Silver hesitate. Yep. So just, he's doing a really good job of using his projectiles to pressure his opponent into getting into uh, sticky situations. Yeah. 